I don't know where Barry actually fit in through the whole breast cancer journey, to be honest with you, because you're so focused on surviving and making sure everything's all right, everything's all right, that you really do forget about your partner. You know they're there. They, they're there to help. They're there to take you for your rides. They're, Barry has never been somebody who is emotional with words or whatever. But when he's sitting there, that's, that's, that's huge, all right? Or if he's volunteering, that's huge. You have your family and stuff, but us guys, we don't sit around and talk and do that kind of stuff like women do, you know? Um, and that's where the whole bus came in. Uh, I mean, it was very consoling and, and um, she just loves it. It's like, it's like a home away from home. And when we're out in the community, we, we, we try to keep the Hope Bus like that. So people feel very comfortable getting on. So it ended up being, he would drive the Hope Bus. Now he sits in his seat, Maureen sits in her seat. I sit on the floor in the middle of us, we all have a coffee. And before we get to the event, we're talking about the event and we're gonna do this and do this and we're gonna get everything ready. And you never know who's gonna walk up those stairs and he was getting into it. And then he saw men coming on and kids coming on and he didn't have to hold in his emotions and I would catch him outside talking to somebody. It's called giving back. Um, she went through her journey, which was horrible. And um, anything that we can do to help others with their journey or, or any of their needs, emotional, physical information, anything, it's, uh, it's kind of rewarding actually.